Tracking the tropics for you in a way that could impact our weather this week and also something out in the far Atlantic. CBS4 meteorologist Dave Warren is in tonight for Craig. Dave, a busy day in weather control and on the radar there. Yes, uh, let's talk about what could impact the, the weekend here. This is a tropical wave that's uh, moving through the Caribbean. It's being monitored by the National Hurricane Center. You see these showers, storms really developing as moisture is kind of working its way slowly uh, from Puerto Rico there through the Dominican Republic and Haiti. There is a low chance of development. Uh, between three and five days from now. That's where it is now. It'll pretty much work its way uh, there across the area and then maybe possibly developing uh, into the Gulf of Mexico. Now, no matter if that happens, it will bring a lot of moisture into the area, kind of enhancing our showers and storms here this weekend. Potential tropical cyclone six, nothing yet, but likely uh, will become Florence here over the next 24 hours. Right now, it's moving west at nine miles an hour, and the track from the National Hurricane Center continues to move it to west over the open Atlantic. We're watching this one here over the weekend. Right now we're watching showers that kind of redeveloped at a little quiet to period here in between this morning storms and these quick moving showers mainly up in Broward County right now. I'll zoom in show you where this one is. Crossing right over 75. This is just north of where the turnpike crosses over 75. So it is continuing to race off there to the northwest. Could see a little more activity like this here over the next few hours before that sun goes down. There's also some moisture there just off the coast. There